Oh, it's time. It's time to see how badly we've been scammed. No. Um, yeah, it's mystery box time. It's literally the first time I've ever done one of these. I've never bought one off camera. I've never done it previously. So I'm kind of excited just to sort of engage in the experience for the first time. Um, of course, I don't want to end up with something that is kind of fake. I don't know why I feel like it could happen. I suppose anything's possible. Um, I bought this from a place that appeared on a Google ad. Uh, I don't want to buy from somewhere reputable or at least known straight away. I feel like people have probably done that before uh, and, and the likelihood of it being more interesting is from one of these other companies, I guess. Um, so I went on the website, the website looked decent, purchased it and it arrived quite promptly actually. Um, I've since gone on their Instagram and it seems like they're a relatively new outfit. Instagram was created this year, website I think was created this year. So it seems like that this is uh, something that they're, I suppose, giving a go. Uh, their most recent Instagram post is only three as of uh, filming. It showed you uh, what you can get. Um, and it seems, like, it seems like they're buying shirts from classic football shirts and then reselling them. Um, because it had one of the trading cards in the photograph. So, and it was a, uh, I believe it was a Marseille, it was a Marseille shirt, which actually is a pretty decent one. Um, I don't need a Marseille shirt, so if I do get one, I guess I'll have to sell it, I don't know. Um, so if they are buying them from Classic Football shirts, at least they're legit, right? At least they're legit. Um, and it means I might be able to need, I might be able to add one of these shirts to my collection. Probably not, right? I mean, I already have quite a few shirts, so it's already going to be difficult. Now, obviously, I chose the size. I chose medium. I chose that I didn't want any English teams. One thing I didn't mention, though, I didn't mention the fact that it has to have a sponsor. So uh, my only worry is that it's a shirt that doesn't have a sponsor, um, which could be very likely because, of course, cheaper shirts generally don't have them. Anyway, I won't rap talk about it anymore. Let's just jump into it. Let's see what we get. And um, we'll go from there. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm kind of nervous, but I guess we'll find out in a moment. I'm going to do a top-down view of this one. And uh, yeah, wish me luck. Right then, here we go. Let's just jump into it. God. I'd be very pleased if I actually need this. Da -da -da -da. Oh, this is a professional job. There we go. Go to that. I can only imagine. Wow, there's literally no branding on this whatsoever. I was expecting there to be a logo or something. Nothing at all. Uh, I bought it from a place called Secret Football Shirts, which is, you know, quite a, a pretty decent name, I suppose. I was expecting a logo. Nothing. Is that a good thing? I don't know. All right, let's get into this part. Totally not failing. Right then. Let's do it. Ha 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 ha. Who is this? Does it have a sponsor on the front? Yes, it does. Why do I have a feeling that this is a futsal team and not a football team? Right then. Because I'm certain that's what it is. Okay, so nothing else in the box. Right then. So it's a... Uh, Secret football shirts. I can tag them and get 10% off. Wonderful. Team is Inter Football Sala, and it's the Primera Division. Uh, the stadium is the Jorge Gabriosa, and Inter won five league titles in a row, starting in the 2013-14 season. I am absolutely certain that this is a futsal team, not a football team. But, I could be wrong. 
I could be wrong. I'd like to be wrong. I know Inter Movstar, they're a, uh, a thingy team. Right then, so before I look into the team itself, let's look at the, the actual shirt. So it's manufactured by Joma. Good start, good manufacturer. You have this, I'm sure that's the Movstar logo. I'm sure it is. Uh, has the tags, definitely medium, good thing. Logo is sort of, um, I think it's transferred, but that's fine. Um, on the back, we have a Spanish flag, so they are a Spanish team um, for sure. But now, I am curious to know more about them. So on the inside of the club, El Major Club del Mundo. The logo doesn't have any footballs on it, in fact it has, um, I don't know what that is, a feather and a microphone. <laughs> The material's decent, it's what you expect from Joma. Cool little design running across the front. Um, is, this a, is this a 30 pound shirt? Mm, probably, maybe, I don't know. Who knows? Um, didn't have the little tap of the card, so maybe it wasn't a classic wall shirt it's job. Right then, I suppose I best do some research and I will jump back into it. And let's see who this club it really is, what sport they actually play, in which season it was from. I'll be back shortly. Right, um, it's been a few days actually since I last filmed uh, this sort of video. I wanted to give it a few days to properly collect my thoughts. I didn't want to jump straight into it again and sort of go on a rant about what I'd just received. I didn't think it was all that fair. I wanted to do a little bit more sort of um, looking into it. Uh, I, I went on their uh, social media account and I wanted to see if anybody else had posted some shirts. Um, they had done. And to be honest, I kind of feel a little bit miffed off with what I got. I mean, I was already a bit upset that it was a futsal shirt, and it, it is. It's the home shirt for Inter Football Salah, or known as Inter Movistar. Um, it is for sale still on Classic Football shirts. And it does cost nine pound, nineteen pounds ninety nine, which isn't a big surprise. I knew that it was going to be cheaper than thirty pounds, but um, it's kind of a kick in the teeth that um, it was a futsal shirt. Whereas these other two other people, that's all I've seen so far, they had a decent, decent box. I mean, nothing spectacular. You, you, you know, we're not expecting anything crazy, but at least something that's decent. One gentleman had a um, grasshopper Zurich player issue shirt which again retails for £20 but it's still pretty decent and then one gentleman had a Marseille shirt uh, which seems to retail for about £27, £28 which is effectively the price of the box so um, depending on where they they might have sourced it somewhere cheaper but so, it's, so it does seem like you can get something decent from these boxes it just so happens that the one person who's probably doing a review of them, and me, I end up getting um, something that's not quite what I would say is um, acceptable. I did do a little bit of like, <laughs> sort of uh, asking a question on Instagram to see if uh, people would be interested in futsal shirts in their collection. Uh, I think a few people realised it was probably linked to this video. Um, the majority of the people, I think, said no, they weren't too keen on it. A few people were, and that's fine, like, I understand that. I mean, there's obviously a, a need for them. Um, but it seemed like most people wouldn't necessarily be um, sort of keen to add futsal shirts to their collection. Um, so what I've done is, on my website, I've created a section which is just dedicated to mystery boxes. Um, I'm going to upload some resources eventually, um, obviously it's something I've just started looking into. Um, at the moment I have a review for this um, shirt that I opened. It goes into a little bit more detail than what this video sort of is. Uh, it has a lot more photographs and, and sort of looks into everything from the beginning to the end. So if you're interested in sort of articles like that, I will leave it in the description. You can have a read. Um, it's, uh, I'll try to be as impartial as I can. 
because uh, obviously at the end of the day, I'm, I'm not trying to destroy someone's company here. I, I'm just trying to offer a, a fair review for people who may be interested in buying a product like this. Um, so if you're interested in that, I'm going to keep a list of them all. And if you're ever interested in buying a mystery box, uh, maybe it's there and you can have a look for yourself. Um, but that's it. I kind of, uh, yeah, I kind of sort of enjoy doing this. It's kind of weird. I didn't really expect it to go as it has. Um, I am going to be doing some more. Um, at some point. So uh, if you guys have any boxes that you know would be interesting to look at, let me know because otherwise I'm just going to have to go through Google and just pull out some random ones. Um, obviously I don't want anything too cheap because no one's going to be surprised if there's a pile of rubbish in it, you know. So it's generally about the same price point for this one, I think's fair. Um, there's always a chance of getting something um, decent uh, at the very least. I think anything more we we'll are playing with fire a bit as well. So if you've got any suggestions, let me know. I hope you've enjoyed this little uh, sort of switch up in content. Uh, a little bit something different. Um, it's, kind of, yeah, it's kind of fun, kind of exciting. The next video is just back to a normal shirt opening. It's kind of a nice one, new country. But that's it, I, um, yeah. Let me know if you've got any suggestions, comments, tips. Uh, I'm not gonna sell it, I'm not gonna return it, though there was an option to return the shirt if I uh, was interested in doing so. I'm just going to build them up and then after 10 or so I'll just see what I want to do with all of them I guess. But yeah, I will uh, see you next week with a regular shirt opening. Thank you for watching.